students. My name is Katie Winkler and I'm your English instructor for this accelerated English 111 class. I have to be honest, this is going to be a difficult course, but you are in this course because you want to get through with your English requirements as quickly as possible. So hopefully you have already signed up for the English 112 for the second eight weeks. Though so this will be your 111 and then if you're successful in this class, which I'm going to do my best to help you be, then you'll be able to take your 112 in the second eight weeks and be through with your English requirements for your degree program. This is very good for people who need to move quickly through their degree. However, if you have some other 16 week courses, then the load is going to feel difficult sometimes. I'm going to do everything I can, but I can't make the course load any lighter. It's just naturally going to be more work because we have to get more done in half the time. But when things get tough and you're like, this is way too much work, Miss Winkler, why are you giving me so much work? It's too much work. Remember that the state requires us for you to get these three credits for this 16 week course in eight weeks, you're gonna to have to do double the work. Uh, I just want you to be aware of that. So I've created this short screencast to give you an introduction to the course. Please let me know if you have any questions or concerns after you watch the screencast. I'll be seeing you. Here's what the homepage looks like for the Blue Ridge website. Go to students. Then click on My Courses. You will have to log in to My Courses. There'll be a login screen there. I'm already logged in. Then you will click on English 111-401-W. And here is what the course homepage looks like. Course announcements will be listed there. They'll also go to your webmail address. And here's the course syllabus. This is what the syllabus looks like. My information there, a course description, course goals and objectives that are the same for all English 111 classes and student learning outcomes. The required text. the grading policy, and the Blue Ridge Campus policies. Let's take a look at the course schedule. This is just a tentative schedule. It is subject to change. Under course resources, you'll see information about how to access the online textbook and information on where to get support. If you go back to the course homepage and then go to the menu, you'll see the four modules that are open to you now. There are eight modules altogether. Click on the course dashboard and your course dashboard will look like this with your progress and grade, the grade book, upcoming events, activities, all of this to help keep you up with the due dates. The very first thing you need to do is the attendance confirmation quiz. You can click on it and under upcoming events and then go to the activity. This is very easy. It's only one question, easy question, but you still get a grade for completing it. And it's very important that you do it before Friday, 21st of August, or you may not be able to stay in the class. So please get that done first. Let's take a look at your grade book. It looks like this with the different assignments under the category. You have another grade book called the Open Grader. Your assignment will be on the left. Click View Grading Rubric, and you will be able to see how many points you've got for each category. 
If we go back to the My Courses page, you can see that the deadlines are listed on the right. These deadlines are for all of your classes together. It's very helpful. So you have due dates that you can find in several different places. Let's look at Module 1. See the daisy picture there? There's that attendance confirmation assignment. Notice the due dates are listed sometimes on the side. Sometimes they're in green in the bottom right of the assignment. They turn red if the assignment's overdue. So I hope this helps you. Just let me know if you need anything at all.